Hello everybody, in this video we are going to explore what GPTs are and how they function. Specifically, we will focus on their three key components, the knowledge base, prompts and actions. This video is going to be more focused on the theory side so that you have a better understanding of the basic concepts of custom GPTs. So let's get started. Now the first question to answer is, what exactly are custom GPTs? So let us simplify it. You all know what ChatGPT is. Now think of a ChatGPT that is entirely personalized to your needs. It has the name you want, the description, logo, knowledge base, tone, and everything. So that is what is custom GPT. Yes, if you can see on your screen, they are advanced AI models that are designed for natural language processing or NLP, means processing what the user is writing on the bot. They can generate human-like text. They can understand the context of the conversation and respond to queries. This makes them incredibly versatile, right? So it's just ChatGPT that is customized. So it equals to custom GPT. So in the image, you can see that there are a couple of GPTs that have been made by OpenAI itself. So if you can see the first one, it says that you can drop any file there and it will help you analyze as well as visualize it. So it increases productivity and reduces time. That is the end goal of any GPT. Now let's talk about the three components of a custom GPT. The first one are prompts. These are the instructions that we give to the bot in order to how to respond, how to perform certain actions, etc. This is similar to what we used to do with ChatGPT, basically chatting. But here, these prompts are used by the bot to understand what kind of response or output is expected. So it's instructions for the bot, easy and simple. Next up are knowledge bases. So these are basically the vast collection of information that the GPT use. You can think of it as the brain of the GPT itself. Using its brain, it gives the answers. Previously, ChatGPT used to give answers from the information it already had. But now in custom GPT, we can add our own PDFs, our own docs, using which it will be giving the answers and will be trained on. Let's suppose we have a custom GPT that is trained to give answers to the students about a particular chapter. So as the knowledge base, we can upload the PDF of the chapter and now easily the students can chat with the PDF and get answers to their questions. Now the last one that we have are actions. Actions are the tasks that are performed by the GPT in response to the user's command. Actions are the ones that make the bot advanced as well as complex. Actions save us time, efforts, and increase productivity. For example, you could ask the bot about which meetings are scheduled for the day or add an event to the Google calendars. So it does the work literally in seconds that would have taken you around five minutes to do. Now, when we combine prompts and knowledge base, we build a bot that is kind of basic to intermediate. But when we combine all the three components, that's when we make an advanced bot. In this course as well, first we will be making a basic bot in order to clear your fundamentals and then we will be making a bot that has all these three components so that you know how to build advanced bots and automate your tasks. In terms of actions, in this course, we will be making a third party API call through the bot itself to increase its data set as well as capabilities. After completing the course, you would be very good with all these three components. So Let's move on to the next video. Hope you got value from this one. Till then, bye.